Blessing seekers, good evening, happy Friday. Welcome to day number 24 of our 30 day seek. Hallelujah to God be the glory. Good evening, Sister Shalina. Good evening to our YouTubers. Sister Shalina's on. Good evening to you. Hello. Hello, Mother Eleanor Fuller. God bless you, woman of God. Praying for your endurance and your strength. Praying that God will restore to your body vitality, renewing, refreshing. Glory to God. You know that um, I'm going to come by and see you when I get into the Boston area. How's everybody doing? Good evening, Sister Cheryl. God bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Good evening from Denver. It's Friday. Come on, y'all. No boundaries, no limit. Open up, open up, open up, open up. Grace and peace to you, Prophet Asia. Hey, Denise. Is TC with you? I see you got company all the way from the ATL in the Bean Town. <laughs> How you doing? I'm clapping, Denise, but I'm only clapping because I see that Sam Del Tay under you. She said day number 95. Y'all know. I'll be like, come on. Come on, all going to hit me with an A flat. I don't know what. Whatever key y'all going to hit me, give me that good shouting music for day number 95. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. We love you too, little miss. We love you too. And thank God for your deliverance. Stay open, stay present. There is safety. There's safety in, in when we get together. Sometimes we, it's, we isolate and it's, it's quick to isolate. You can easily isolate when you're online because, you know, you're going to show up and people, you know, you come on when you want to come on. But you can let your heart be open. Um to your sisters and your brothers in the seek, to the, to the mothers that are in the house. Um, and if you need prayer and if you need, you know, someone just to encourage you, you can reach out. Okay. You can reach out, Sam, and don't feel that you have to carry things by yourself or in isolation. All right. Glory to God. Grace and peace to you, Mother Linda Dennis. How are you, Mama? Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Sister Alberta is on. Sister Alberta, remember every time I, I met your name, uh, when we did at the beginning of the seek, I would call you Roberta. I don't know why. They were like, Alberta. I'm like, Al, Al, A for Apple, Al, Alberta. Then I'm like, Sister Roberta. <laughs> but I know who you are now, Sister Alberta Davis Jones, for the Paul's wife. Amen. God bless you. Sister Tanisha Phoenix, I pray for you. I pray overflow and abundance. I pray that the Lord will just. <sighs> pour upon you and pour into you greater don't get tired don't be weary in well-doing sometimes we get weary because life is full of so much um i'm not just to say trouble because sometimes you're not it's just a trouble you're just worried because you got so much to do and so much of your responsibilities demands from you that you're always present. And sometimes you just want to be off it for a second. You just want to just be like, hit the pause button, but you don't have a pause when you have children or you have needs that are pressing. So I pray that God will restore, that he will renew, that he will revive you. That even when you sleep at night, that there will be great rest that, that, that comes from deep within and permeate through all the cells in your body. That when you rest, that your mind is resting so it's not racing. And that when you awaken in the morning, that you will feel the restorative power and grace upon, of God on your life. I pray that for you, Sister Tanisha. God bless you. God bless you. Sister Jeanette Ware, blessings to you, my beloved sister. God bless you. Thank you all for coming out. Hello, Sister Marie. How are you, beautiful sister? Sister Marie Voss Grant, known her for lots of lots of years when we used to be with Mama Nellie. Um, wow. So grateful that we stand on the shoulders of great men and women of God. Um, and when you're in the Boston area, you know, we're watching this. We're still in our time. We're still here, but there's an era that has come and gone. There are generations and we can see it, you know, we're middle agers. And then we have like two or three generations beneath us. Um, and then we're looking to like literally pass the baton to the next generations that's coming up. And then we can reflect and remember those who imparted to us. Bishop Eli, Joseph Eli, he stood probably about five feet. He'd walk into the room and to God be the glory. 
To God be the glory. Um, Pine Sites, man, packed with power. Besides him and Bishop Joel Smith, over the two bishops that I knew, really, back, like back in the day, um, before Bishop Gideon Thompson became a bishop, he was Pastor Thompson down in the Bradford Hotel. And so to see how your labor, your seeds grow when you continue to sow, and you have to be able to ride the wind because sometimes we miss our seasons and our moments and we don't get those back. And so it's very important to be able to identify the season that you're in. Sometimes the Lord will call for pruning, which you want to still gather. He says, no, I mean, let go. You still want to gather. He's like, no, this is not the time for you to be gathering. You need, you need, you need to be, you need to cut away all the things, the weights that are, that are setting you back because I need you to go almost into a state of dormancy so that you can be nourished from the inside out. We're taking so much on us, so much. We want to take this and take that. And after a while, you don't even know who you are. You don't know what goes, what's left or what's right. Or there's no measuring of the poor. You're just, you're wasting your resources because you're frustrated and you're fatigued and you're tired. And then we rebuke the devil. Well, the enemy used all those distractions, right? And he works with us with our ignorance. Our ignorance keeps us from being able to discern certain things. So we're doing all these good things, but they're not the right things. And then we have a dissonance, this, this feeling of, mm, I'll call it a bad feeling, right? Like, should I be doing this? Is this right? Is it wrong? So the way we perceive the word of God, if I say no to you, you feel like you're offending. But no is preservation because if I give you of my oil, I won't have enough to take me on the journey. And so you have to have the wisdom of God to know when to withhold and when to give, when to refrain and when to not refrain. So there's wisdom that God's going to help us to be able to have as we get ready for the next season, as we get not just the fall and the winter, but for the next season that God is having the body move through. Understand there's a lot of things happening around you. You have to be aware. Okay, and so what am I doing with this seed? Is this seed to eat? Is this seed to sow? Is this seed to give? Is this seed to plant? Is this seed to store up? How much of my resources do I divvy up? God give us wisdom in his word to know how to get ready for the years that's coming of famine. And yet we're still in a time where we're still in a time of plenty. It's coming a time. Uh, it's it's going to be greater, greater release. But understand there are cycles within the earth realm. There's cycles in the spirit realm. There's times and there are seasons. And so God gives you the wisdom how to navigate through those seasons. Praise the Lord. Amen. Good evening, Prophet Cheryl. God bless you. Glad that you're here. Wait a minute. Kimmy Clark, Kimmy Clark. Good night to you, beloved. I don't think that I've seen a Kimmy Clark before. Kimmy Clark, what city are you in? What state are you from? Thank you for joining us. Good evening. Talk to us. We'd like to greet our new seekers, those who come on and say good evening to us. Hello. Come on, all y'all. Share tonight. I want y'all to share because the Lord is going to speak through us tonight. Get ready. It's notebook time, prophetic prayer time, intercession time. Good evening, Prophet Vicky. How are you, Sister Vicky Harris? Good evening, Brother Laka. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Bridget. And man of God. Happy birthday, Brother O'Brien. Belated. <laughs> Want to shout him out, okay? Bless the Lord. Sister Lisa Haskins is on. And we honor Mother Valerie. Our, our elders in the midst, Mother Valerie Anderson, the Reverend Mother Anderson, God bless you. Yep. Well, it was Gilbert, but it's now Gideon. Name change, for real. Um, he's changed his name to Gideon. So uh, <laughs> that happened a few years back. Hello, Prophet Benita Bly. How are you feeling? Beloved, how are you feeling? Ooh. Come on, we celebrate our elders tonight. We celebrate... Reverend Mother Gwendolyn Spence, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you so much. It's Darlene Santos Smith. Must say all of it. And a name I love to say, y'all. Hold on. You know I love to say it. Lady Tatanisha Pulamoro. <laughs> How are you? God bless you, sis. God bless you. Sister Donna Scott is on this evening. God bless you, woman of God. 
Thank God. Come on. Go. Wait, Tammy, I'm coming back. Hold on a second. I want to see say, say good evening to Lady Sonia Cord. Cord. Like Bob Cord, right? Are you related to Bob Cord? Mr. Bob Cord, right? With Bob Cord, he used to run the ABC, the entire ABC on Tremont Street. When I came in, um, he had the college down there. He was over all the ABC, ABCD, all of the early head starts. Bob Cord. I'm not going to forget that. He was a great man, a great man in our city, a great man. Listen here, Pep is on. I call her Pep, right? Prophet Erica Penn. I love this woman. Woman, you've been on my mind today. Says she moved into her new place. And so we pray that God would bless and cover her where she is um, to her new place, that the angel of the Lord will be all around her as you find great peace. Amen. Every need is met. Glory to God. Thank you, Father, for greater. Thank the Lord for divine connections for her in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, that as he, as he takes her higher, that he gives her greater grace and he protects her, right? So that the higher she rises, she becomes a greater visibility, a greater target, but her visibility is greater. I'm not worried about the enemy trying to get at her. That's his job. But greater is he that is in her, around and surrounding her, than the enemy is going to try to get at her. So we thank God for the angel of the Lord protecting her from the darts of the enemy on every hand and side, that every evil work shall not prosper. Every word spoken against her will fall to the ground in the name of Jesus, that the Lord has established her, her going out and her coming in. My God, thank you, Holy Spirit, for the woman of God. And we thank God for divine and covenant connections. Glory to God. We thank God for the perpetual lifetime hookups. Because in this time in our lives, we're not looking for, for the phonies. We, we don't have that time. We don't have that time. We don't have that time. We want the real and the authentic. And if we got to work out the kinks, we'll work it out with love, right? Because it's like any, you don't just throw away your favorite dress that got, got a little bit of stain on it, honey. You get to working on that stuff. You get your little baking soda, your little dish detergent juice, your lemon. Juice. What do you got to do to get that stain out of it? Because you are not throwing that thing away. That's sometimes we got to work at some of our relationships. It's like, okay, this is a little issue right here, but we got to work it out because we understand the value of the relationship. So I say all that, and it's just, she sparked that inside of me. And I'm so grateful that she's a part of us and sharing with us. And you know, she's she was a guest speaker and my gosh, she killed us, killed us. Praise the Lord. But you know, she's been on and all oh, she's been moving. She's here and she doesn't have to be here. How grateful are we? Come on, y'all. Show prophet some love. Show prophet some love. Good evening, woman of God. You've been on my mind. I know you've been doing work. She's she's busy doing the work, doing busy doing the work. During the mind, I know we still got to sit down and talk. And I remember you asking about that. Okay. Hello, hello, Prophet Misa is here from North Carolina. Seek and see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hallelujah. I'm just excited tonight. I'm I'm excited tonight. Now I saw my beloved, my beloved lady elder. I call her lady. She was one of my babies. Tam Tamara Licorice. Okay. I was a Tammy Thomas, right? But I thank God for her. Tammy used to be with me in my former church. Um, and I'm just, it's just a blessing to see how the Lord has blessed her, blessed her marriage, blessed her children and blessed her ministry. And would you continue to pray for her, pray for her mom and her dad? Um, sister, um, sister Thomas is usually on, Claudia Thomas is usually on here. This is her mom. And so it's just a blessing y'all. We just love, we just love the secrets. Okay. Okay. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all better get this man a contract. Okay. But look, how, because I dressed in press, won't claim my best. I come a little better than all the rest. Too, too, I feel like, yo, back in the day, y'all like you take me like, I feel like Spinderella on there, brother Lacar. <laughs> oh, brother Lacar, <laughs> you spark joy. God bless you. Strong finish, woman of God. Strong finish. Strong finish. All right. Listen, I'm excited tonight. I'm excited. The man of God is on. The man of God is on. Lord, I'm, I got to scroll up because, you know, on StreamYard, you know, I always tell y'all that so y'all can see. Because I'm like, you just woke up, mama, but thank God that you're in the land of the living. Mm. I have a couple sisters. Um, I only pray for Sister Hines, okay? Um, she is has been voluntary intubated um, due to COVID in the hospital. And we want God to heal her and bring her back. <clears throat> I'm, 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 I don't tell people what to do, but I'm a strong advocate for vaccination. Okay. 
I don't know what's in this Delta virus, but I, it ain't nothing nice. It did not come to play. Okay. So um, I'm just praying. We're praying for healing. And I just want y'all to be careful. I know you're tired of being inside. You go outside, you wash your hands, you keep your face covered. Be mindful of everything you touch. You come inside, I'm gonna help you right here. Like take your clothes off, like at the front door. Like, you know, especially you've been around people. You walk inside, you go sit on your chair, you sit on your, your bed, you no, know, you take the stuff off, put it in a bag or whatever you gotta put it in. You gotta just you gotta be super diligent, especially if you're not vaccinated. I understand that you're not wanting to feel your freedoms inhibiting on, but people are straight up dying. Well, they were dying before, but now it's like from down. It's just like shh. Okay, it's like not a play with this thing. And this is healthy, younger people. So I'm praying. Let's pray, y'all. But let's do better. Please, 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 please. Don't give the devil nothing to say. Don't, 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 don't give him an open avenue. Okay, don't give him an open avenue. I'm going to say it every time you hear me. When we take a... <laughs> I'm dating myself because back in the day, you know, Prophet Misa, don't play with me, okay? I love Spinderella, okay? And Adidas. I'm from Boston. Three for the stripes, okay? <laughs> I needed to see that so I could break away because I feel like I'm going to cry because I'm, I'm going to beg. I'm going to beg. I don't want to do any funerals. I, I, had to, I had to do funeral. I had to eulogize people. I had to get them final rights over the Zoom. And they weren't with their families. They were talking to me, listen to me, give them final rights while a nurse is holding a phone. This is not a joke. This is not, no, and because everybody's not falling and dropping like flies all around us, the numbers are still vast, vast, it's vast. Okay, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. Queen, God bless you. How are you feeling? The saints call, glad that you are doing better. Praying for your body and for your healing. And you know, Queen, a picture of mother came up, mother Lois came up on my feed today. <clears throat> she had responded to something I had written a few years ago. And so I just know when we're praying for you, like, like I heard her prayers. I saw her sitting with my mother praying. And um, this morning, her picture came up on my feed. You know, just keep pressing. And as I think about you, I know what God has given you. I know. And some things, um, the amount of pain that you carry, it's like, Lord, let me pray. Because, Lord, you can remove the pain. But it is some things, it's like you said, some things are birthed out of pain. There's some anointings that won't come any other way. We're asking God to interrupt because your cycle, I, I'm asking to bring your season of pain to an end and to hold you close and let you keep running forward um, and not look back. Okay. Praise the Lord. We're so grateful. We just love Pat. We'll call her Pat. That's no disrespect. Okay. That's Prophet Erica Penn. Pep, okay, the pep is here. That's awesome, glory to God. We appreciate you, we appreciate you praying for you. In this one here from last night, come on, she's my black China doll. Her skin flawless and whatnot. She has such a beautiful spirit, a powerful woman of God. Come on, oh Lord, who else is moving? Prophet, are you moving too? I know, we're gonna get into the word in a minute, y'all. You know, we have to, it's Friday night. Go ahead and get your popcorn. And your notebook and your pen and your prayer pads, <laughs> your prayer shawls, your prayer pads. Okay. Amen. You're all done. You're moving. Uh, she's moving as well. That's that. I just think that's a sign. Praise the Lord. I think it's a sign. The Lord is saying, get ready to shift. He's putting people in place. Hello, beautiful. I love our new seekers. They're so powerful. They're so powerful. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Dr. Ramona Folly. Been working so hard. You know, I had to get a big bottle of water because it was really bad. I was drinking any. I was drinking any. I know I need to, but you just got to make sure when you see the body, so you got to finish it. So you get the bigger bottle and you got to drink it. Isn't that right, Sister Benita? <laughs> Sister Benita, she came and visited me. Tell, tell them, Sister Benita, the past ain't always nice. She ain't always nice, right? <laughs> I love you. Awesome. Sister Kimmy Clark, I'm glad that y'all. Seekers, would you just send her some love? Would you send her some love? Y'all ready? 
Mother Cheryl is up, right? She says late night. And I agree, y'all. This late night here, I'm like, my whole sleep schedule is jacked. Jacked more than it's been. Now, I know y'all said, man, the prayer for be messing our sleep schedule up because we praying for 48 hours. But we're on day 24. Six more days to go. I don't want no crying come, come October 1st. I don't want no crying. We on tonight? We, we will not be on on October 1st, okay? <laughs> we're not. But October 2nd is Saturday. We will be on, okay? So you get one day of reprieve. And if you're sad, call some seekers and pray together. That's what you're going to do. Because we, we develop a habit of being on here from 9 o'clock every night. Come on. Ain't she a blessing? She a blessing. She blessed my whole life. I'm like, that woman can blow, literally, like lit, from, from the gate out. I'm like, well, she ain't going to prophesy. She prophesying now. Don't Nobody miss that. I mean, everybody who listens got a prophecy. I'm trying to tell you. We, we, we are so rich with word, so rich with word. When we coming on, go and replay a message and just take notes. I know, I know, because God has given us so much. Man of God, good evening, big brother. I call you big brother. This is one of the sons of uh, Apostle Brian Keith Williams, and he is in uh, Utica tonight. So we're praying that um, the Lord will bless him as Apostle Williams as he ministers tonight. But um, Elder Jeff Redmond, thank God bless you. I know that your wife has a product. I don't remember what it was, but I would like to know what that is. I know she, it's a special uh, product that Bishop Brian Key William was talking about. So when you come on, I'd like to hear about it. Um, and this, we want to be able to support as well, okay? Hello, hello, hello. God bless you. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Sister Dina. Now, y'all know what we do. We come back on. We come in, When the seat comes on, listen, we just welcome people. We like to, we share, we talk, we engage. I want to know how your day's been. It's okay, right? It's not like a clubhouse, <clears throat> although we will be getting on clubhouse soon enough. So y'all get ready to get that app, but we're going to move some of our <clears throat> our longer press sessions onto clubhouse. Clubhouse has a lot of different people. You can get into a room and have different topics, but you better know what you're getting on there because you have people on there saying whatever their mouth can say. And some stuff is, if you don't know no better, I'm like, my God, the level of erroneous teaching that you get on that stuff is crazy. <laughs> just like, um, where where are we at? You just you just a whole nother level. So you have to be prayerful. Good evening. Hold on, who's that? Who does that? Sister Denise, who jacks y'all up? Tell me, I'm gonna get them. Tell me, sister, sister Denise, where? Who jack? Who jack? Who up? Tell me right now. You know I will get them. Yes, I agree. Especially if you live in Boston, ain't nobody got no three thousand dollars for no two bedroom apartment. To God be the glory. We are all one body, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Look, I went back over and listened to the message a couple of times. I'm just saying. Now I need to go back in there probably four or fifth time because that's important. You know, when you get a word from the Lord, that's a word from the Lord. You know what, how the church of Israel, they memorize what was said to them. Every time they get into the synagogue or temple, they will the reading of the, open the scrolls and read it continuously. You know, we're like, I need a new word. What was the old, what was the, where's the old word? Because I want to see the old word in you. <laughs> we're not here to get our emotions tickled. We're here to get transformed. Okay. That means that the word you hear got to be in the word you eat and the word you become. So that everybody else could start reading your life and follow the word that you have digested. But ooh, but if you all you do is sit up here and eating the dessert and not taking the meat and the and the nutrients, the more nutritious and the dense protein into your body, and then you fluff. Okay, so you we have that that form of godliness, but we deny the power thereof. Come on, come on. Thank you, Father. I'm just saying. Let's let's get it. Let's let's get it. Let's let's get this thing together, right? I'm just I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna we have we have a lot that we have to do. Praise the Lord. Oh, ain't nobody but the Holy Ghost in here, Brother Laka. Nobody the Holy Ghost. Come on, prophetess. I'm ready. Yes. Ooh, thank you so much. Wait a second. Love you, Sister Jeanette. Wait a minute. Hold on. Now let's go back to this. Julie's drink to shrink. Come on, somebody say, praise the Lord. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, baby, take a sip. <laughs> 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 
Sister Asia, I think I'm going to need a couple of jars, bottle, containers, or whatever this is. Okay, we're gonna definitely, we're gonna definitely look her up now. This, come on, brother Jeff, you gotta talk to us now, because Apostle just don't push stuff that he don't take, so that means okay. So drink to shrink. Some of us need a little help, a little assistance. All right, all right, let's make this thing happen. Let's make this thing happen. I'm just saying. Yes. Drink. I'm leaving it up there for a reason. Drink to shrink on Facebook. So I'm at, are we looking up drink to shrink or are we put up Julie's drink to shrink? Is that what we're going to find on Facebook? Or what is her is her name? Do, do we go into Julie Redman under her page to find it? I'm just telling the truth. No, I, I'm 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 excited. I, I'm excited. I had I had mad prayer sessions today. So I'm wired right now. OK. And when I when I'm in the presence of the Lord, I get I get light. I don't need no drugs to make me high. I'm just, Jesus makes me high and joyful. Okay. Ooh, Lord. Yes. Lilac sure walked us through the book. And you did too. And Brother Gerald. And tonight's not going to be no different. Tonight we're going to have the word of God. Okay, there we go. Hey, Sister Julie. How you doing, woman of God? I'm trying to get snatched. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because some of us trying to lose our COVID-38. Because we um we the Lord made it rich and he enlarged some territories that we need to have some shrinkage on. All right. So definitely Julie's drink to shrink. I'm putting that up there, y'all, so y'all can just take a look. Thank you. Take a look. Okay. Um, awesome. Awesome. Well, we're so glad you're here, woman of God. Look, I know y'all, y'all getting it. Y'all know I'm helping somebody right now, right? Y'all know I'm helping somebody. Come on. <laughs> you need just a little help before Thanksgiving get here. Just a little help. All right. Come on. I love you all. Come on. All right. Well, we're so glad that you're on. We're glad that you're on, woman of God. God bless you. God bless you. And I'm looking forward to um <clears throat> being a testament of um your delicious drink. We're praying. Good blessings. God bless you. All right. Strong finish tonight. Strong finish tonight. I love y'all. <laughs> Queen's like, just sent you that inbox request right there about that drink, okay? This is what I'm talking about. This is how we do this, y'all. I'm helping. All right. All right. I'm for it. I am for it. I'm for it. This is how y'all don't talk about y'all blind buying black and then it's like you pass it up. You don't you don't buy black on blackout day. You make buying black your business. Ain't that right? As I drink this essential water, which is <laughs> ain't black. Awesome. I love it. The saints of God have they they've caught on. They've caught on. I haven't tried it, but I'm willing to try it. I think we should try it together and give an honest opinion of what we think about where we are. We should have a start date for my drinking and then we should follow through and see what happens in like 21 days. Let's see what happens. Okay. Is that good? You can't be cheating. Now, if you're going to drink, you know, if you're going to be drinking to shrink, you can't be, you can't be lemon cake in and drinking to shrink. Okay. Because you're going to be canceling out your efforts. All right. Come on. <laughs> I love my secrets. Y'all are the best. Come on, Lake Miss Sister Lakia. You ready? You ready? Because you and I are gonna have a conversation, right? Come on now, mama. Let's get ready for next Thursday, okay? All right, that's how that is. Just like that. Awesome. Yes. All right. I'm trying, Brother Lakia, to help somebody. <laughs> and, 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 and for it, you shall have it. This is my baby sister from Jacksonville, Sister Rachel. Good to see you. All right. It's 7. Listen, it's 933. 733. It's 933. I know y'all want to say, what did I have to eat? I don't know. <laughs> I had a frozen bag of um of protein, like corn and quinoa. And it was like a little, you put some, you know, the, the frozen bags. You put it in there for five and a half minutes and you put a little butter and some seasoned salt in there. And, that was my dinner. And so I feel quite awake. All right. Well, woman of God, if it worked with amazing results, I don't know. That means some of these sisters get ready to get married by the end of the year. We got some weddings coming up. 
All right. Some, some people get ready to say yes to the dress. So maybe your answer to prayers. Come on. All right. Since Julie, that's what I'm saying. Look, the Lord comes and he comes and he helps us. All right. <laughs> the Lord comes to help us as simple as it may seem. I know we laugh and we can have a good time. I hope y'all I'm laughing. So y'all should be laughing too. Okay. Cause I just know when prophet, when prophet Jerome comes, he comes heavy y'all. So you, I'm just loosen up a little bit <laughs> because here comes the hammer. Okay. Because here comes the hammer. Come on. All right. I love it. I love it. I love that you all are going to do that. And this is just, that's, we are the seek seekers for life. This is how we move. This is how we move. So I'm grateful. Grateful. <laughs> right. Okay. So get ready, but it's okay. We've had, we've had, I'm sure if you don't drink the drink, we've had some bitter things. We have some things that we shouldn't be drinking. We learned to develop a taste for beer, which is plain old nasty. Um, and there was a old pass me a 40. I'm like a whole 40, get some condoms looking at it. Something like make a fruity something out of that. Right. So we tolerate stuff without the benefits. And now we have an opportunity to like, okay, I ain't thinking about them. If this thing's going to make me shrink and, and get me on the track to like start helping me with this discipline of like what I eat and whatever, because when you invest and it's another thing, when you invest in something, it's very important, right? You want to be invest in your, your life and your body, right? So invest in your mind, read books, right? Get up and walk, move here. So, you know, choose to put better things in your temple. All of that is about what we've been talking about getting in alignment, finishing strong, you know, giving God the ability to work within this temple of ours. And so we do our part because um, sometimes we frustrate the grace of God because we mishandle the gift and the body. He created this to be able to house himself in us. So we want to do our part. Okay. Look at you all. This Sister Jeanette, I'm down with that. This is it. Oh my God, who could, who wouldn't want to be a seeker? This is what I'm telling you. That's it. Okay, so okay, so listen. So I'm gonna have Sister Jeanette wear because this is how we do. It. Sister Jeanette wear. I'm gonna let you go ahead. You and Queen be on that committee. Okay, so help us know what what's the ordering about. We'll go to the site and and whatever, and then we're gonna do a group stuff. You wanna do a group order? This is how it works, right? And then okay, everybody who wanna be down and say we wanna be holds of accountable to you know eating better and, and make it through the, the end of the year. Because remember, at the beginning of the year, we're going to tie the first 37 days, right? We're going to tie the first 37 days in consecration. But this is a good way for us to get started and not lose our mind around the holiday, right? So um, let's just, uh, okay, so Sister Jeanette, where? And Queen, I want you all, would you please connect together and let's help that with that kickstart. Now, I know Sister Kathleen's going to get on here and she's getting ready to be drill sergeant number one. But um, let's do this. Let's make this thing happen. Come on. All right. Thank you, Lord. Okay. I thank you. Brother Lakar, I'm going to put your statement up. I don't even know what that even means right now. Yo, and I was a private, I was private stock all the way. Like, why? Like, ew. Like, I so love sweet things. You know, you make yourself, we appreciate you. <laughs> Woman of God, we're just being great. We are the seek. And this is, you know, I've heard apostles speak about your stuff. Um, but the seek is family. And so we're, we're just grateful for what the Lord allows us. And if we can be a blessing to your business and to assist, then, you know, um, that makes us all better together. And, you know, in one small way, it makes the heart, the face of Jesus smile. You know, I feel the Lord on that. I feel that the Lord Jesus smiles because it's just like people will hear you, but okay, just stop and pause and be intentional. So if I need to not have any coffee and get here and be better in my body, then it's worth it. And it's worth me for us connecting with you. Um, brother and sister Redmond, what state are you all in? You know, this is how the body needs to work together. This is how the body needs to work. And so we have many churches here. Maybe you all can, you know, see what's working for your body and, and share with your family and share with your churches. All right. Let's start off the new year healthier. We've been sitting in the house for going on two years and although we're going out, most of us know we're, we're, the store is killing us on those prices because their prices are going up on everything because they know your size have increased. Most people have increased in weight and size. Right. So 
How about we just take back some of our, <laughs> not throw away anything in our closet and go back and fit them. <laughs> Let's do what we got to do for this strong finish, okay? Come on. That's what I'm talking about. This is important. That's that's important. That's kingdom work right there. After you speak in tongues, you know, what you going to do? After you talk that love, now what do you do? How do you support one another? How do you bless one another? How do you encourage one another? Just like that. Just like that, okay? So I'm grateful. We will have a strong finish. And we always have a strong start because we we'll want to stay strong. How about that? Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And so it doesn't matter what we're facing. We have our families. We have we have each other. We have our faith. We have our prayer. We have the word of God. Um, we have our purpose before us. And we press forward. We press forward. Okay. CD, God bless you. Listen. And she has her whole dance routine. I mean, CD... They took her, her dance move and made it to those, those dance factory video games. And she was like one of the choreographer on that, you know? So there's a lot of help. I just believe the Lord's going to push us there, y'all. He's got to push us there. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Greenville, South Carolina. All right. Well, I don't, I, I don't know about in South Carolina. I don't think, forgive me if, if y'all are, but I'm glad that we now are, are connecting with you. So let's make this thing happen. All right. <laughs> Sister Catherine's a drill sergeant, and I love it because she's 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 not gonna be harder on you than she's on herself. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let that alone, Sister Terry. I'm leave it alone, okay? Okay, old Dudley, old Dudley, OP, Orchard Park, okay, back in the day, old Columbia Roadway. All right. Thank you, Father. I've been delivered in the name of Jesus. Okay, look at that. Brother Brother Donald is going to join. This one I'm talking about. The brothers are in here too. Let's make this thing happen. Awesome. Well, I'm so grateful for y'all. We all do that. Y'all do that tonight. Let's do this, okay? That, I think this is the Lord is going to help us. He's helping us tonight. Come on. <laughs> Seek and see will connect with the Redmonds in South Carolina. Yes, Lord. Let's make this thing happen. Glory to God. Okay, so y'all really on here right now. We're talking about the blueberry and coconut. Like, <laughs> I love it because you know what? When we talk about it, we ain't playing, y'all. We talk about this thing for real. So the seek and see. Listen, y'all on here. Okay, I love it. Thank you, Lord. All right. So listen, tomorrow, Apostle Apostle Angela Tebow will be on on tomorrow night. I want y'all to get ready. Let's get ready and make this thing a reality. Um, we're coming down to the last Saturday of our 30 day seek and praise the Lord. We have had some phenomenal men and women of God to bless us. Um, those who are on the seek, those who have been guests of the seek um, and you all, the seek would not be the seek if there weren't people who are called to seek him um, and we seek together. So it's just been a blessing to have everybody come together. Praise the Lord. Um, so tomorrow night, get your families involved. Let them know we have guests. Y'all get on, get to church on time. Okay. I mean, so take your shower at eight o'clock and not eight 30. You just need to be on, right. Put on your very best house coat. All right. Not the one with the little balls at the end. You got to put on the one that you're going to save for company. Put that on because we're going to church. You're going to high church tomorrow. OK, so praise the Lord. Let's get ready to have a great time tomorrow as a woman of God come to share and 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 give us what the Lord will have her. Make a demand. She did just lose a very um, close friend of her, sister friend of hers. And so in this time of mourning, um, we're going to be praying for her. But it's, it's in these times. I'm trying to tell you is when you go through these hell and high water times. It's like what God, what God puts in your spirit, you know, it had to be God. Like, this is not me. I'm just, I just showed up and like, whatever you want to give, you will have to do this. I said, yes, I don't have an attitude, Lord, but Father, you know, I don't have the capacity to even press. And when you get in this place, I'm trying to tell you, God pours up out of you and gives the people what they demand. So we put a demand on the anointing. The Lord's going to take care of her heart. He's going to mend her brokenness, but he's going to feed us. OK, he's going to feed us. So we want the Lord to take her message and give her our message. <laughs> whatever you need, I'm going to you're going to get whatever I need. We're going to get tomorrow night. OK. And I also want you to know that on Monday night, my little biggie is going to be here. My little biggie. OK, that is Matthew Borders, the fourth IV is going to be ministering. And so um, we're looking to end strong. We're looking to end strong. Y'all keep praying for us. Well, let's pray as we welcome. Um, 
God bless you. Let's pray um, while we get ready to go into uh, <laughs> whatever you want to wear to church. You can wear to church only on tomorrow night, okay? I will not allow shorts on the front pew, okay? It's distraction to the saints, okay? <laughs> but only tomorrow. I'm allow you to wear shorts tomorrow, okay? But you can you can be, you can wear your best house coat or whatever you got available tomorrow night at church at nine o'clock online. You can do whatever you got to wear, okay? <laughs> okay, you can even come to church tomorrow night with your rollers. All right, if you do that, wrap it up real nice and tight. Okay, it's Saturday night. Whatever you whatever gonna make you feel good. All right, I even let you drink a cup of cocoa tomorrow night in service. How about that? Yes, yes. All right, just be on time. And make sure you're waiting and invite somebody when you get on. Okay. Awesome. Praise the Lord. All right. Let's pray. Let's pray. Glory to God. Father, we love you. We praise your name for you are good and your mercy endure it to all generations. Father, we thank you that you didn't skip us. We thank you, Father, that in this generation, we can definitely see your hands of mercy upon us. God, you protect us and you keep us throughout the day in the night while we rest, even while some of us are out to work or busy, God, in and out of our homes or workplaces, you've kept the death angel away from us. Father, so many people are suffering and are sick right now, and they need a visitation of your spirit, Lord. We know that, Father, you are, you're, you're causing us to witness a rapture even right now, that so many lives have been taken up out of here. But God, the mantles and the anointing and the grace is still here for the work still continues. For Father, it is not yet the end of time. We thank you, Lord, for what we're experiencing. Father, in the midst of a famine, God, we can have the abundance because you are with us. I thank you, Lord, that you would bless the man of God tonight. I thank you that you have chosen him, that you have called him, that you have prepared him for this time. I pray in the name of Jesus that every word that comes from his mouth will be manna from heaven. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would ready him, God, with the sword of the spirit, God, that God, the, what, the, the, the tongue of the learned, I pray that God, you would give him, God, inside of revelation, Father, and you release him into the higher planes in you, that nothing would be withholding from your people tonight. In the name of Jesus, we don't take for granted those who are among us, Father, but you have gifted everyone according to their measure of faith, but God, according to their divine assignment. So I thank you for Jerome Kyle tonight. I thank God for the multiple gifts that you have given to him, and I pray to God you release him into your glory, release him into your glory, Father. Because all we want to see is you. All we want to hear is you. Take him higher and deep him high, deeper. Hide him behind the cross in the name of Jesus. We give you glory, God. For the Redmonds, I pray a special blessing upon their business. I pray a special blessing upon their ministry in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord, that there's going to be an explosion, God, of finances that's coming to them. But I thank you, God, that even, God, the, the responsibility is greater. So you're sending, God, greater help and assignment to them. Greater help to their businesses. Greater help to their their business is in the name of Jesus, Father. For you're calling many of us, God, to operate within the hybrid anointing of the kings and the priests and the prophets. Uh, Father, you're not distinguishing right now one from another, but God, wherever the need, Father, you're causing us to develop and to grow, God, and to be able to be amendable and God placed where you want us to be. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that this couple, Father, is blessed tonight. We decree that they are blessed. We speak blessings over them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you bear witness uh, that every prophetic word Word, God, that you have spoken over their life and through them, Father, that none of those words will fall to the ground, that this is now their time and their season to receive from the throne of God. Oh, Pala Mande Osha, in the name of Jesus, God, not everything that has been held up within the spirit, we cancel, God, the assignments of darkness that comes against them, God, and we release, God, great blessings. Thank you for the wind of the spirit that blows, oh, God, on them. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus God. Hallelujah, for now is the time of their lifting. Now is the time of their rising, in the name of Jesus Father. And the cloak, God, the cloak that has concealed them, the cloak that has kept them to be inconspicuous, is now removed. And the light of glory shines upon them. The light of glory shines through them. The light of glory shines on their path. For their humility, Lord Jesus. Now, God, you lift. Now, God, you elevate. Now, God, God, honor them as they have honored you in private. So now magnify them, God, in public. Oh, we thank you for the oil that rests upon them. Oh, my God. Thank you for the oil, Lord Jesus, that rests upon them. Because they don't hold their fists closed. They're open. They're open. 
And Father, I pray that you continue to let them even give up out of their need. For that is God, the secret place where their abundance reside. For you give seed to the sower. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that their seeds are blessed. Their seeds are blessed. Their seeds are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you praise, God, for their family, God, is being expanded. Thank you, Lord, that your blessing, Father, even in education, that all needs are met. All bills are paid. Father, I speak as you have showed me. All bills are paid. Oh, the things that we worry about, God says, don't worry. Decree and declare. No, no, don't just say no. Decree and declare. My God has already supplied my need. Now, I thank you, Father, that we will not put any of our energy or anxiety or any of our energies or our thoughts, God, will not perseverate on what we can't do it is in your hands. So, Father, we release now. This prayer is for the Redmonds in the name of Jesus. But for everybody will hear, God says he's meeting needs tonight. So we come with expectation, great expectation, great expectation. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for great expectation, Father. Elevate our thinking, cause us to see the way you see. We thank God the lens of our eyes are clear and sharp and precise. Laser sharp focus in the name of Jesus. We give you God praise. We will not touch your glory. We will not touch the Lord's glory. It all belongs to him. And we know that. Hallelujah. We are nothing without your grace. We're nothing without your mercy. We're nothing without you. Mm -mm -mm. Our intellect, it belongs to you. Our personality, it belongs to you. God, whatever you have blessed us, it is yours. For your use, Father, we are available. We say thank you. Bless your people, God, tonight. Uh, as you move in that hospital. In the name of Jesus, God. Sister Hines. Holy Ghost, bloat through her lungs, Lord. I cancel the assignment of darkness over her in the name of Jesus. And I command life. I command life. I command life. I command life. I command life in the name of Jesus. I command life in the name of Jesus. Shani Solaban, the ruler of God, breathe for her and breathe through her. Healing virtue manifests now. The fires of God, even, oh my God, rest upon her even now there in that ICU. You are God. You are God. And we decree the healing virtues of God. Manifest God in her body now in the name of Jesus. 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 I thank you. 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 Oh my God, we are praying and we are praising. We are thanking the Lord. We're thanking him. We're thanking our Lord. We don't pray by accident. We don't pray. We hit our target every time. We have been given the authority and the keys. Whatsoever we ask in his name, he will do it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, it is done. We decree it so, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Brother Reverend, I don't know if you have a son or sons. I'm leery to say that, but I feel like I need to be praying. I'm praying for your son. There's a particular son. I don't know if you even have a son in college, but whatever. There's, there's debt. I see something about debt. And school fees being paid. Okay, so that's what I'm going to say about that. We will continue to pray for your family in the name of Jesus. All right, all right. I feel that 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 thing is taken care of. You cannot lose sleep over that. You must trust God here. You must trust God here and open your mouth and speak it with authority. Speak it until you believe it. Sometimes you're you're saying a thing and you're like, there's a question in your mind. No, you got to decree that thing. That's a debt. Uh uh. That has to be paid because that child is called. That child has a path that is so different. That is so different. Don't worry about that. Commit it to the Lord. Commit his destiny. It belongs to God. Already have him on the radar. He cannot escape if he tried. Good luck. Let me know how it works. Okay, I see you at the altar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Um, he's a good God tonight. He's a good God tonight. He's a good. Come on. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, woman of God, it is not by accident that you are on here tonight. Uh, we just talking about drink to shrink, shrink to, um, your husband just, you know, mentioned that. Now, this is this is how it works. This is how it works. We are connectors in the kingdom. We don't miss the assignment. Glory to God. And see, because you already know, you already know. This is how this is how it locks down. There will always be a part of us. Nothing. No one just passed through. There's a connection. There's a connection. There's a spiritual marking. 
of those who are seekers. But you walk in the room, you give the nod. You're a seeker. And you don't, you don't, you're not, you're a seeker for life. We're not seeking one another. We're seeking the father. And so he causes us to come into connection with our kind in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We know who he is. He is our Abba. We love the body. We give you praise, Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. When I'm getting ready to bring the man of God on tonight, I'm going to let, I need to see his camera on first before I, um, oh, there he is. All right, he's down making sure that he gets his camera ready. Pray the Lord before I say, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together all the way from Jacksonville, Florida, via Boston, Massachusetts, via Miami. <laughs> the global, the global uh, superstar. He's a man of God. He's he's eclectic. He's a musician. He is truly a prophet, a man of God, um, businessman. Um, and I'm so grateful that he's a part of the seat. Come on. Uh, and so those of you all who he is your mentor, he is your class, your class moderator from freedom from the past. Cause he leads that group, um, uh, group number four, come on, put your hands together for this drunk Kyle. <laughs> bless you, man. God. Bless you. So glad you're here. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> do what you gotta do. Seekers, what a blessing it is to be here tonight. Mm. I tell you, I don't even know where to begin. I thank God for the spirit of joy and laughter that is also a part of this gathering, gathering of seekers, those that are called, those that are chosen, I've been thinking, thinking about us for the last, I don't know, couple of days and maybe even a week. And thinking about what I would share with us tonight. And something came to me and would not leave me. And I want to talk to you tonight about timing. Even before I came on, we see how God works in the span or in the scope of timing, connection, divine connections, divine appointments. And those of us who are called of God, we already know that there is nothing that happens to us or that we experience that is by accident. We don't live by fatalism, but we live by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. We don't live by bread alone, the scripture teaches. And we say, as Jesus said to Satan, when he had taken him up to the high place. I want to talk tonight about time. Time, time. And a couple of points that we'll raise tonight <clears throat> about timing. And I'll try my best to slow it down and not, not move so quickly. Um, I love to write, believe it or not, and I know many of you are also writing now because it's a part of the SEEK protocol. When I start to write, uh, I can barely stop. I have to sometimes just literally put a period there um, because I'll just keep going. So tonight I want to talk about time. I want to lift a couple of scriptures up um, just before we get into the meat of what we want to talk about tonight. Genesis 8.22. As long as the earth remains, there will be planting and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night. James 1, 17 through 19, whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God our Father, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shadow, a shifting shadow, he chose to give birth to us by giving us his true word. And we out of all creation became his prized possession. Those of us that he made a little lower than the angels became his prized possession. Timing is defined as a particular point or period of time when something happens. Chronos timing, or clock, if you will, timing as we measure it, 
in the earth realm is measured and counted. Kairos, however, is different from Kronos. Kairos is lived and experienced. If Kronos, chronological time, has bookends, then Kairos is what happens in between the bookends. It's about what happens within the time. Kairos is a time that requires a conversion from people, Mark says. In Romans, it says Kairos time is here. It calls for action and conversion and transformation, a change of life. Corinthians, Kairos is not just crisis, but an opportunity and favor. God assists us in discerning the Kairos, a moment of grace. Can I prophetically tell you that the seekers, the seekers in the formation and identity of the seekers is a kind of a Kairos, a moment of grace, Bushetel. It's a moment of grace that we've been brought into. Many of us have sought God's face for quite some time and yet are now just getting to this level of intensity in the spirit. Why? Because you've met Kairos. We've all, we all live in the chronological time, but there's something that happens to those that are believers in between the time. Divine timing. Kairos, something new, the God something. We want to start talking about that. It's an appointed time for you and I, a God appointed time to bring us out, a time to see us through. It's a perfect time to see our destinies manifest, a time for us to be still and so on and so forth. You understand. Ecclesiastes 3 says, there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. It's a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. There's a time to weep and a, a, weep and a time to laugh. There are times to mourn and times to dance. Time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. There's a time to search and a time to give up. Time to keep and time to throw away. Time to tear and, and a time to mend. Time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. There's also a time for war and a time for peace. There's a time for everything. Verse 15 of Ecclesiastes 3 says, whatever is has already been, and what will be has been before. And God will call to the past to count. Funny thing about timing is that you can't force the right time. Listen to me. You have to be brought into the perfect time, to the divine time. We don't force ourselves into it. We yield to the timing of God. We yield to the perfect will of the most time. God's timing is the right time. It's not a late time. It's not an on time time. It's the perfect time. It is the divine time. And it is the right time that just so happens to be perfect for you and I. It may not feel perfect or even right, but it is. God is not a liar. He doesn't need to repent of anything. He's sovereign. And he knows when to do what he wants to do 
in your life and in my life. Remember now, those of you who are dealing with and, and, and struggling with time, there are variables in play that you and I may not be aware of. And waiting on God is not devoid of movement and activity. It's just not the movement that most people are used to, even those of us that attend church and have attended church for many years. The idea of waiting on God causes great anxiety amongst the believers because we're taught that there should always be something going on. But when you're called to wait, which is part of being groomed, which is part of the growing, which is part of development, waiting seems like eternity. The movement of one who yields to the divinity of the Godhead and the Lordship of Jesus Christ has movement even in the posture of waiting and being on hold. As I pray, as I fast, as I consecrate, and as I worship, as I do good, and as I love my enemies and my neighbors, as I see about the widows and the orphans, as I tend to the poor and the needy, as I bandage up the brokenhearted, and as I pray for the sick and see them recover, as I am on my seek protocols of praying and fasting and writing, I also learn how to bend the knee movement. I also learned how to crucify my will. Movement. I learned how to tune my ear to the voice of God. And I learned how to soften my heart and quiet my spirit and bring every thought under captivity and measure them against the word of God and the knowledge Holy Spirit brings. Movement. Church attendance and just showing up to the meeting does not do this. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the other things, the things that many of us want and need, the things that we desire and we put up in front of the relationship. Those things will be added Movement happens even in a state of waiting. When you get here, saints, when you prayed and you fasted and you've sought his face and you've read his word, then you and I will walk into the nowness of the moment. You and I will walk into the Kairos. And now you will see the wind and not just experience its effects. You will see differently because you have been with Jehovah. You've been at his feet and you've received from his hands. You've heard his voice reverberate through your soul, not just in your ears. Now you sense his leading to Sheba and his guiding in unprecedented ways. And now the flow in his spirit seems limitless. Now you enter into a space and a place where time is no more but where eternity and perfection reside. Kairos, moment of grace. It's what happens in between my birth 
earthly birth and my transition back to the Father. I want to live the Kairos experience. Glory to God. Glory to God. I want that span of time to be a Kairos, not just one isolated moment, not just one isolated event, but an entire movement. This grace to live as a mortal being in the Kairos is in his presence, saints. You no longer think about your internal clock. You think more in terms of the moments living in this space. You don't think about what you're losing or, or that time is running out. Because your real home is in eternity. You understand that there are a few days on the bookends. But in between the bookends, the possibilities are endless. Creative God has given you and I the ability to ask him, to seek him, to knock and find him. Not only does he say, does he say ask and seek and knock, but he then goes on further because we serve the great I am. And he says, you know what? I'll do it exceedingly abundantly above it. I can go above all that you can ask or think in your space and time, according to the power of God that's at work within you. So I no longer think of an internal, in an e an, an internal clock. Ladies, I know that it's important as it relates to childbirth, but as it relates to your destiny and the plan and the will of God for your life. Kairos. This grace is in his presence. You know that in his presence there's fullness of joy and at his right hand his pleasure is forevermore. Fullness in his presence and pleasure. Joy and pleasure in his presence. So then why are you cast down? Why are you filled with anxiety? Why do you allow worry and fear to dictate your movement? If in his presence, your joy is fulfilled and there are pleasures, <laughs> things that make you smile, things that feel good and nice, they're at his right hand. At just the right time, I heard you. On the day of salvation, I helped you. Indeed, the right time is now. And today is the day of salvation. That's in Corinthians. Divine timing is just that. It's of a divine nature. God brings us into it. We don't force our way. We yield. Somebody needs to yield tonight. This is just my first point, but you need to yield tonight. Glory to God. Oh, he wouldn't have me talk about it if it were not an issue in the lives of those who seek him, in the lives of those that have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. We struggle with understanding our times. And according to the scripture, our times are in his hands. And that our steps 
steps of righteous men and women are ordered by God. So you can't be late. And you can't miss out if you're in the perfect will of God. And no one can take your place or space because it has your name. My space and place has my name on it. So I need not be jealous, covetous, or envious of anyone. I can be free in him to allow the fruit of the Spirit to blossom in my life and to make themselves known to all who encounter me. I don't have to worry about the other stuff because my times, my Kairos moments, my moment of grace are dictated by the only one who controls both Kronos and Kairos. His name is Jehovah God. And there is no shadow of turning in him. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is faithful. He is faithful and he is perfect in all his ways. He is God and besides him, there is none other. Second point, as it relates to timing, discernment and understanding the season is most important. We have weather meteorologists and we have those who do their best to give us an account of what will happen this day or the next. But there is nothing like that person who hears God and can give instruction and wisdom when there is none. And while we can understand the weather, we can understand certain natural disasters when they may or may not happen. It seems as though the wisdom to really decipher and understand the signs of the time, it seems as though it eludes us. Why? God speaks to his men and women, his prophets. But can I tell you, many of our ears have been listening to something else because our motivation has not been to please him. Many have listened to the lie and have become hirelings instead of the mouthpiece and oracle of the Almighty God. See, when you're the mouthpiece for God, then you don't look to man or anyone else to, how shall I say, to affirm you or to pay for you or to give to you the things that you think you like and want, cars, houses, hotels as the mouthpiece of God it's up to God listen to me it's up to him to give me to satisfy me it's up to him to affirm me because at the end of the day, I'm in an audience of one. What profit the man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Only because he or she wanted to prophesy what they wanted to hear. What would bring the biggest offering? No. I want to say what he says. Don't want to add to it or take anything away. I want to be what he wants me to be. Nothing more, nothing less. 
So I say to you tonight, pray and ask him for discernment. It's insider info. It's going behind the veil, going past what might be apparent or even what may make sense to the human mind. Just because it makes sense or looks a certain way doesn't mean it is what you think it is. You need the eyes of the spirit. Woo. You need a sensitive heart. Ladies and gentlemen, what good is strategy and planning if you and I are clueless to when it is time to apply the strategy? I need God and I need discernment and I need the ability to understand the season so that I can hear him when he says, now make the call. Now take a defensive or offensive position. One must be in tune. Many fail and falter because we start to lean upon our own understanding, but the word of God warns against this. He says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding, but in all ways acknowledge him and he'll direct you. He'll conduct. He will shift you in place. He will bring into view. He will turn the lights on and bring illumination to your path and the way you should take. He. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. I need to be able to see what is not seen by most. Hmm. Some would say go left and the Holy Ghost would say go right. Who are you going to believe? That's why seekers, that's why you're called to this Kairos moment. Bushita. God has need of thee to stand as guides, the ones who could point the way. Who could lead those in the right path, in the path of righteousness? This is taking nothing away from others, but I'm talking to you tonight. I'm talking to me tonight. Why we got to pray so much? Why do we have to fast so much? Do we really need 30 days again, 30 days again? Do we really have to go on a prayer for it every month? I got to break your will. I've got to take out what is wrong and give to you what is right. I have to, I have to, I have to help you. I have to help you hear me. I have to help you know that is me and me alone. Now I know there's coming a time when you cannot ask me, is that you? You won't have the time. You have to know. And you only know by spending time in Jehovah's presence. You only know, you only really, really know when your ears are tuned to his voice. Because you not only feel the wind, but you see it. You see it moving. Mm. He doesn't talk to you any longer with parables, but he talked to you as a friend. He's invited you closer. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. The shadow is a place of power and protection because it's not just any shadow. It's the shadow of the Almighty God.
Listen to the wisdom of Ecclesiastes 9. I have observed something else under the sun. The fastest runner doesn't always win the race. And the strongest warrior doesn't always win the battle. The wise sometimes go hungry and the skillful are not necessarily wealthy. And those who are educated don't always lead successful lives. It is all decided by chance, by being in the right place at the right time. Divine timing. You didn't have the education. You were in the right place at the right time. You didn't have the doubt payment. You were in the right place at the right time. You didn't know how you were going to make it. You didn't know how you were going to keep the lights on. But you called that day at that time and on the other end was favor. The right place. The right time. People can never predict when hard times might come like fish in a net or birds in a trap. People are caught by sudden tragedy, pandemonium, and pandemic. This is the wisdom of Ecclesiastes written many years ago, many thousands of years ago. It wasn't written in 2019 or 2020. But God knows. And God knew. That people can never predict when hard times might come. And like a fish in a net or a bird in a trap, people are caught by sudden tragedy. We were caught by sudden tragedy in 2019 and 2020 and still now. The effects of the sudden tragedy have had a lasting effect. An effect so great that what we thought was normal is no longer. And we're now here creating a new normal. But those of us who've been redeemed not just timing it's actually a moment of grace it's a kairos moment the greek said it was something new it was a change kairos is a time that requires conversion transformation, not just crisis, but opportunity and favor in the midst of pandemonium and pandemic. I not only want the info of what's happening, I need the wisdom to know what to do about it all. And all you're getting, get understanding. How do you get the understanding? Are you developing your listening ear? Lord, give us thy wisdom and thy understanding. Many folks get excited about prophecy and they get excited about what they think they're going to receive. I get excited about what is revealed and understood. Lord, give us thy wisdom and thy understanding. Many of us and many of you tonight have gifts and talents, callings and even anointings. Lord, grant us thy wisdom and thy understanding. Help us to know how to be great administrators of what you've given to us, what you've placed in our hands. 
discernment, the ability to decipher the seasons of its and the times is a gift from God. It's not magic. It's a work of grace in the life of one who's yielded themselves to him. One who's decided that it's better to have him in their ear, their spirit, than to have a thousand voices singing their praise. I'd rather have the voice of God in fellowship because the motivation to hear him is not so I can talk. The motivation to hear him and to understand is so that I can be in fellowship with him and that I have the blessed assurance to know that he knows me moreover that I know him. Administration and application is everything. What, where, when, how, and why. Understand timing. There's divine appointed time and that we're living in moments of a kairos nature because of the call and the moment of grace that we've been brought into. I understand that I need discernment. I need to be able to decipher so that I know what to do in the season. I don't want to be in a winter jacket in the middle of summer. I don't want to be trying to pull up when it's time to plant. I don't want to be embracing when it's time to let go. In Chronicles, from the tribe of Issachar, there were 200 leaders of the tribe with their relatives. The scripture records that these men understood the signs of the times and they knew the best course for Israel to take. How amazing would it be if the seekers of the Most High God were so powerful in the manifestation of signs and wonders being manifested through them that political leaders and nations came to you, came to me for which course to take. We cannot make another law or put down another edict or do anything before we consult the prophets of the Most High God. No need for a prophet to come forth to just decree and to declare that you'll get a house. I said many years ago, you want a house, ask God for a job. Tell me something that I cannot read on the horoscope, prophets. Tell me what the Lord requires of us. Tell us how to walk out of this pandemonium that we found ourselves in for the better part of a year and a half, going on two years. Tell us how we've sinned against God. Tell us what do we need to do to be forgiven. Tell us how to set the course right. Pray to your God, the Most High, and ask him to have mercy on the nations. Tell him to have mercy 
on our land. Tell us what we must do to be saved. The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. That's in Proverbs. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. That's in Ephesians. Wisdom strengthen, strengthens the wise more than ten mighty men in the city. In other words, wisdom is better than brute force. You can have the biggest military and you can create the most advanced nuclear weapon systems. But if you have God's wisdom, if you have God's power, and if you walk in God's authority, none of that other stuff matters. His grace is so powerful that he gives to his servants the ability to run through troops, and leap over walls, And if poison touches their lips, it won't harm them. Talking about the power of the Most High revealed to those who serve Him. There are moments <clears throat> in our lives when we've sought God We've come into some measure of understanding the time that we're in in the season. And we've come to a moment where it seems as though everything stops and stands still. Lord, I heard you say this, but nothing is happening. It's as though there's no movement. <clears throat> It's at that moment that most of us start to doubt what we heard. It's in those moments when we become fearful because life continues to happen all around us for we are in the world, but we're not of it. But we're subject to the things that happen in this world. All of a sudden, there's no movement. I heard God. <clears throat> I know I heard him. It seems as though he's gone silent. Moments of pause and silence. You know, it was interesting. I'm like, Lord, why, why this point? Can I just tell you simply? He says they have to really know. Because we're in a different place now. We're in a different time now. We're in a Kairos moment. It's a moment of grace. But even in the moment of grace, the space in between the chronological times of our life, God has to make sure that we're sure. What do you mean? When it's time to move and when it's time to go, those that hesitate those that look around those that are still wondering is that the voice? They could be left 
they could be lost. They won't be fit for this kind of a battle because you're still wondering, which means you have not come to a place where, of a surety. Those that know their God will be like Mount Zion. The, those that know and understand, they don't speak with doubt and trepidation. They speak in the declarative. The declarative is not just something we do when we feel good. The declarative is there for a reason. It's emphatic. It's true. It's clear. It's concise. Moments of pause and silence happen in our lives for many reasons. But tonight is to make sure that you know the right voice. On your mark. Get ready. Set. I won't even give you the other one because that's my last point. Teach me how to live, O oh Lord. Lead me along the right path for my enemies are waiting for me. Do not let me fall into their hands for they accuse me of things I've never done. With every breath they threaten me with violence, yet I am confident I will see the Lord's goodness while I am here in the land of the living. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. In moments of silence and hold. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. I was listening to Pastor Benny Hinn teach on worship and practicing the presence of God. It was one of the most profound teachings that I have ever heard. It changed my life and changed the way that I viewed being in God's presence. It's hard to have a wait patiently for the Lord moment in our churches before. I remember in times of worship, the Lord will tell me at times, don't say a word and don't move a muscle. Don't utter another word on the microphone. Not one, not another exhortation. Stand still. And after 30 seconds or 60 seconds or 90 seconds or two minutes or four minutes of standing without a word, people start to get nervous. because we're so used to saying, hallelujah, come on now, praise him. Oh, come on, give God something. Oh, give him a word. And there are times in the experience that he says silence. Wait patiently. Pastor Hinn taught, he said, wait patiently means just that. I'm in worship, my worship music is on. We're talking about timing tonight. And in timing, there are moments where as the clock continues to tick and that third hand counts the seconds, we're called to wait. But God, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. My biological clock is ticking away. I don't have much time. Says who? I am the author and the finisher of your faith. I am Alpha. I'm 
omega. I am time. There is no chronological time without me. I created the bookends of your life. I created the moments of grace. Wait patiently, not begrudgingly, not full of anxiety, not with trepidation and fear and doubt, disbelief. Patiently. Patiently is a posture. It's a, it's it's almost like an emotion that has a, a, a deeper meaning and a deeper, it, it's, it's a deeper, a deeper thing. It's, it's not, it's not just, I'm going to wait patiently. It's a position of one's heart. Patiently waiting on him. Be brave and courageous while you wait patiently. Be brave and courageous while you wait patiently. Isaiah, those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles and they will run and not get weary and they will walk and not faint. There are times when you cannot tell everything or anyone Because you're in a moment of waiting. Mm. Waiting doesn't mean that nothing is going on. There's a seal being applied. Isn't it interesting? Even when you build something, there's a time when you have to wait until it's sealed properly. My sister and her husband put a pool in recently. The process is it, it, ridiculous and very expensive, but there's a time when you have to wait until it's sealed. The water looks refreshing and inviting, but it is not conducive to my use just yet because it needs to be sealed. It's not ready just yet. See, folks, we want, we want to skip in the story. We want to skip to acceleration, which is coming. We want to skip to the go before we've learned how to wait patiently, before we've learned to discern and to decipher the seasons of the time or to even understand the Kairos moments of our life. We're just ready for acceleration because someone told us so. Oh, we're anxious. And the word of God said, what do you mean you're anxious? Be anxious for nothing. It's hard to wrap our, our minds around it because we live in this world that says now, right now you can have it. And there are many times in the lives of believers where it's our right now really is a weight. Have you ever heard a word of prophecy come to you that says now God is getting ready to do and you, oh, good Lord. The getting ready in the now seems to be so far apart. But I can I tell you the get ready? It's not really that God needs to get ready for anything. We are the ones that are many times not in position to receive. So he teaches us how to wait. If you learn how to wait patiently before God, you'll stop making so many mistakes. Your ability to make proper decisions Will manifest. 
If you learn how to wait, you won't have to apologize so much to people for being rude. Or for saying ignorant things. If you learn how to wait. To bring every thought. Oh, I know, I know. But when you're in the heat of the moment, sometimes you just got to respond. Do you? Sometimes the best response in the midst of a situation and circumstance is quiet. You know why you have to be quiet sometimes also? Because there are other gifts that must be developed in you and I. Other things must be sharpened. Other things must be fine-tuned than the apparent things that you have used so many times before. If you and I are indeed in a moment of grace called Kairos, then there are things that are coming that I never even considered. The grace brings to the forefront people, creations, opportunities that I never thought were possible. But if God does not deal with my apparent situation, and I'll never be able to walk into those things that I didn't even know were possible. Thank you for the moments, Father of hold. Thank you for the moments that we experience in our Kairos moment of grace that calls us to be quiet and silence and stop. Thank you that as we run quickly to our destinations, there are other times when you say, And we understand that you're not trying to keep us because you've already told us. Keep us from it, rather, because you already told us it's your good pleasure to give us kingdom. But you want the fruit to remain. You want the testimony and the witness to be true. Glory to God. After I hear him knowing, know his voice, pass my test. The go or the green light is not just a green light. It's not just a go. The word that he gave me is acceleration. This isn't just moving, this is moving with increased velocity in the right direction. This is an ordained forward movement. This isn't just because I'm all ready to go. Because this acceleration is then meant by opportunity and favor. A whole lot of people can move fast. A whole lot of people can run and you can buy a fast car. But divine acceleration needs opportunity and favor in order to be most effective.
In mechanics, acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity of an object with respect to time. Accelerations are vector quantities in that they have magnitude and direction. The orientation of an object's acceleration is given by the orientation of the net force acting on the object. Oh, that's just the science. But not only will God say, now go, but he'll cause you to accelerate. And there are many people online already. You are in a moment, you're experiencing acceleration in your life right now. You're already experiencing, you're, you're, it's as if your life, it's as if there is a rocket tied to you. And things before you had thought that you were moving, you had prayed about your movement. You were like, Lord, I'm, I wanna be in your will. And you had fasted before, but you had not come to this Kairos. And in this Kairos, He's giving you a godly acceleration that is causing you to not only move forward, but your movement is meeting opportunity and favor. What a tremendous blessing to have divine acceleration. When he prepares this way and you get that green light, do not delay, move. Move. You'll know, you'll know it because he'll prompt you in your spirit. <clears throat> it may be something simple. It may not even seem that grand to you, but... You are, you are trusting in the Lord with your whole heart and you're not leaning upon your understanding and you're following the word of God and you're in all thy ways acknowledging him. And so even something that is simple and mundane, he'll prompt you in your spirit, make the call now. Get on the phone now. Go take the meeting now. You may even have to tell some folk to get out of your way. I don't want to hurt nobody as I'm breezing past, but I got to go now. It's time to retrieve. It's time to obtain. It's time to move ahead. It's time to take the land. It's time to take possession. It's time to get it done. And when you're in acceleration, you don't have time to wait and ponder. This is what I was talking about before. Nor do you have time to doubt or fear. And you know why all of this is possible? Not because you are somehow superhuman yeah there's now super on that natural because i know that he's with me what do you think we've been doing all of this for and what we've been doing all of this time for the, some over a year now seeking god in this kairos moment that we have been brought into getting ready for the moment of exodus the moment of release and favor for the change has come and I am where I'm supposed to be and nothing and no one can stop me. Divine timing is divine assignment. You get tired. <clears throat> Keep going. Strong finish. You might even get weary because the journey seems so long. Eat some honey. Keep going. You might even get sleepy along the journey. Take a timed nap. A timed nap. No, you don't have time to sleep all day and for five and six hours. You got stuff to do. You got places to go. You have meetings to take. You're in acceleration. A time to nap. We're waiting. When you're in acceleration, it's because we've we've been waiting. Seekers. 
they're waiting. <laughs> Believers, they're waiting. The young people and some old people are waiting for the sons, the daughters to come forth, the sons and daughters of the Most High. We're waiting. We're waiting for those who not only have the testimony of the greatness and the goodness of God in their mouths, they have power and authority to shake loose, to pull out. To birth people into the newness, the nowness of God. What do you think all of this is for? So we can go to heaven? That's already secure. All of this is because we were being made into the image of his son. All of these nights of fellowship with other believers, other seekers, was because we were being fortified and they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. We were being built up in our most holy faith as we shared the gospel and the good news with one another. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I was built up in my faith. I was strengthened. Glory to God. I received joy. I was able to laugh and experience joy and happiness like medicine. It did something for my soul, did it not? What do you think all of this is for? So that we could be effective. So that he can cause us and to teach us how to not give up how to not give in, how to not throw the, in the towel, but how to finish strong, how to endure until I look like his son, till I look like Jesus, till you look like Jesus, till we walk like him and talk like him to respond the way that he would respond. To we fulfilled our calling. To we fulfilled our mission. Know that you're in a moment of grace, a Kairos moment between the bookends of the chronological timing of your life, time of your life. And God has brought us into a moment of grace. Pray and ask him for a greater measure of discernment as you yield yourself to him. That you might know and that you might have insider information to be able to discern the signs of the time that he might even use you to speak to nations about what will happen and what is before us. And then understand your moments of pause and hold. Take great courage and encouragement in those moments, knowing that it's just before the go 
and the acceleration. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you great honor for the spirit of wisdom which comes from you. Every good and perfect gift comes from God our Father. I thank you tonight that you brought understanding and you brought wisdom to us. I'm not praying for us to know more, Father. I'm praying for the fellowship. I'm praying to be closer to you. For if I seek you first, if I seek your righteousness, and everything else will be added to me. Have your perfect will and way in all of our lives this day. Pastor. Oh, to God be the glory. Um, we're going to let it stay right here. Um, I know a lot of you all are feeling and sensing the urgency. Um, to God be the glory. Um, and, I, and I don't feel like the man of God is done. I know that I, I know he I know he want to get off, but this is what happens because there's an, another level. Um, a prophetic release that I really feel he needs to give to us tonight. He's blessed you all um, in his own way. Um, prophet, what is the Lord saying? There's a great grace for us in our moments of silence. So it keeps taking me back to this time where it seems as though nothing is happening. And that for some of you, yes, you may feel forgotten. But his power and his presence comes to assure us that number one, he's not forgotten. Number two, that he's quite present and very near. Yes, Lord, for some people, he can't get through because of the noise around the anxiety it's at, it's as if it's a buffet it's something that keeps him away you're trying to get more but the anxiety and the fear acts as a barrier you need not fear because he's not given the spirit of fear. Listen to his word, but of power, but of love, which is the door opener. You, you think the powerful thing is the power and it's not, it's love. And when you let love 
open the door, the love of God to you. And that love then to others. Then the promise is power and soundness of mind. You want your mind sound tonight? The person who's filled with anxiety and worry and fear. And you need great direction. Love the Lord with your whole heart, with your whole mind, with your whole soul. When you love him this way, then you invite him. And he comes with all that he is. For he is the great I am. I am that I am. He told Moses to tell them. Who sends me? I am that I am. He was the I am that I am then and he is now. Presently, the now of God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, strategy comes but a now moment does not always come. What we experience tonight is the now moment of God. Many of us think about the newness of our lives, but I hear him say now, the nowness of God, the kairos, the moment of grace comes tonight to interrupt the trajectory that you thought you were on. And he comes now to set you on the straight, the right. It's the perfect plan. And it's the perfect will. And it's the perfect timing right now. The right now. The proper response is just, Lord, I receive. Yes, Lord, I yield. He will not share. He will not share. I'm talking to the control person now. He will not share. So we yield. Yield to his timing. Yield to his will. Simply says, I'm present. Yes. I'm present. You've doubted. You've been scared. But I'm present, he says. No one can harm you because I'm present. No one can steal from you because I'm present. I surrender Jesus. No one can abuse because I'm present. You ought to thank him for being present. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You ought to thank him. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Present help. Thank you for being present. Present help. Present help is here. We have blessed assurance. Mm -hmm. mm, we have blessed assurance tonight. Mm -hmm. 
I thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Surrender, surrender, surrender. Yield, yield, yield. You cannot have anxiety with yielding. They're opposites. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Your yes has to be yes, not yes and no. It's a fully committed yes. Yes, Lord. A fully committed yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can I tell you the secret? Is His presence. Y'all, the secret is His presence. There, it's. I almost wish it were harder than that, and it was mysterious, but it isn't. It is His presence. Everything. Everything. I'm here to say some of you are experiencing what you experience is because you just don't understand everything. You really think that it means a few things, and he says everything. Yes, even the part that you think is not holy. Everything to him. Everything to him. Everything to him. Everything. Thank you, Father. My prayer was that God would speak to you, not just in this moment, but that even tonight, dreams, visions, open visions, that it would reveal himself to you. That he might be glorified. His presence is his presence. Let me tell you, and no man or woman can yield or wield rather his presence. He comes and goes in the manner in which I have to say that. I have to say that. I have to tell you. It's not by might or by power, but by God's spirit. Speak to your people in a language that they all understand. We feel your presence, Jesus. Even as those people on the day of Pentecost, mm-hmm. uh, let those that hear tonight hear you in the language that they are. Feel your presence, Jesus. Mighty God. We feel your presence, Mighty Jesus. God. Mighty God. We feel your presence, Jesus. 
Just to hear your voice, just to know your voice. Discernment, akandula sabadio. Sensitivity to your voice. Shinama so komande. Breathe on us while we wait. Ile yo so konayani. While we wait, breathe on us while we wait. Shinden de Sulayama. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. Amen. We, we're not done, but we can end here tonight. Praise the Lord. Um, every night on the seek has been very different. Um, every round goes higher and higher. And what we're grateful for is for the authenticity of the presence of the Lord, um, for the weight of glory that rests upon his servants, um, and that we have been called and chosen to receive what he has deposited tonight. Um, for those of you all who would like to give, you are, you're more than able to do that. You know you can give. Um, we haven't been pushing giving because we've been on for 30 days and we're not going to be extravagant. Um, but if you felt led to sow a seed in this word, because I know all of us have been shifted by this word, but it's a, we've almost been brought to the line. So before you get ready to take off, we've been having all this word, but we're getting ready to, to accelerate. But now that you're getting in position with your foot on the ground, knees, getting ready to, on your marks, get set, everything is coming into clear view. Clear view. Um, and the finish line is ahead of you. And the noise, all you're waiting for is for that gun to go off in your ear. Um, and I'm just going to cause us to accelerate in the right direction. And the anointing of speed is going to be upon us tonight. So we thank God for what you all are experiencing tonight. Stay in the presence of the Lord. We intentionally stay on because this is something that we're, we're learning to practice. He says the key is the presence. He taught us that tonight. So we stay in the presence and we don't rush out of the presence to go back into the carnal. We want to stay here. Stay here. And let that word just bathe in our spirits, bathe in our spirit. That's why we're intentional about pressing. This is this is very intentional here. Amen. Because he's full and he can go all night, all night. But this is what the Lord wants us to see as the body. We have rushed him out of our services. We have boxed him into a space. We have relegated him onto a program. And we need so much more from him. And he says, but I'm waiting. And you said, I'm done with you. And he says, no, I need, I need to come. What you're waiting for, what you need. I need, I need you. I need more time. <laughs> Creator needs us to allocate back to him the time he's given us so that he can be the priority. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we thank God for the man of God tonight. Thank God for his willingness um, to just hear what God says and, and even his rhythm to slow down and to teach so that we could eat. Amen. God bless you all tonight. The peace of God be with you as you 
rest in his presence and let the Lord allow you to soak. Soak because there's a lot that he wants to do. There's a reef, uh, a fine tuning that he's doing tonight. So um, we will be on tomorrow at 9 p.m. sharp. Um, in the meantime, rest well, man of God. We thank you. We pray that God will restore unto you literally like double portion overflow in you um, for where you're not just preaching a word, you're living a word out in front of us. And this message is, is from a place, a lived place. Um, and that speaks to the weight that it carries. So we thank God for you. We bless the Lord for you. Um, and everyone have a great night. Blessings. See you tomorrow.